Okie dokie. So, how are you guys doing today? Can you hear me okay? Good hearing, I didn't forget. Um, Miles, tell me, what did you do today and you cannot answer schoolwork? Something other than schoolwork. You did something interesting at some point today. What was that thing? <laughs> Nothing. It was mostly just schoolwork. Really? This is your first like non-schoolwork thing that you do all day? Yeah. It must be nice to interact with people. You're like, people! I could talk to you! Well, we're allowed to do homework with our friends, so we just call on, like, FaceTime, and then we just all do homework okay. together. Um, you're in what grade? Seventh? Seventh. Seventh, yeah. So, you don't really see your teachers, do you? Do they Zoom? Uh, you? no. All right. I mean, we're, like, we can, but not Keep really. talking, keep talking. I'm going to let somebody in who I don't know. Uh, hello. What's in? I that to tell. Oh, yeah, guys, yesterday, um. That, remember, what was it? Uh, Fire or something tablet? Uh, Kindle Fire tablet? That was cash. I found out afterwards. So, Fire tablet was cash. And then we yes. got it in too late. I know, I saw that afterwards. But I'm had, so sorry. No, he posted. I checked, actually, my Facebook, thinking I'd probably get a message if... Like uh -huh. it's cash. And I tried messaging that person in cash. I don't know. I just didn't see it. Whatever. <laughs> and so, but he posted on the Brea Jiu Jitsu wall, and I don't get a notification for that. Oh, got so it. I thought okay. It, I thought it would come cool. from you because you've set up all the streams. Yes. What? Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, we wanted to get him on this because it's a little bigger than the phone. So. Oh, cool. What What am I on? <laughs> Oh, it's just on a fire tablet. Oh, on a fire. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, we can't get the hookups for the TV because they're they're out. But um, can you see him? No, I see you. Oh, no, oh, he's oh, too far. There. Okay. There he is. Can you make it? Can you make it landscape instead of portrait? Yeah. Better. Beautiful. There we go. Okay. All right, Cash. How about this class? All right, Cash, come up here. Come up all the way. I want to see your face. We got to get the etiquette, the protocol. All right. Um, so let's have Andrew. Tell me, what have you been doing today? I don't want to hear schoolwork. Give me something else. I know you've been doing schoolwork. I built the Great Wall of Stuffed Animal with my sister. <laughs> that sounds more like it. So and like, then did you have a I nerf built, fight over so the like, wall? I had, yes. this, I had this door. And then I just stuffed a bunch of stuffed animals to make a big wall, but it fell down. So my sister is rebuilding it right now. Well, that's funny. I used to have a lot of stuffed animals, and then some of them be might have become the grappling dummies. Don't tell my kids. <laughs> uh, Ari, what you got? Nothing much. No, give me something. Enzo's next. Oh, I've just been watching TV a lot. Cash, the... come sit down, please. Right in front of the... I, did a little, I did a little bit of I did a little bit of work, but that's it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Enzo, one. give me what you, what's going on with you. I love Enzo's dog. Always there. Well, two things. Uh, one thing, my pet snake uh, finished its shed. Oh, nice. He sh for those of you that were here that class, Enzo has a pet. I forget what type of constrictor it was, boa constrictor maybe. And uh, it was shedding its skin, so he, it just finished. Hey, Ben's in the room, hang on. So let's go, keep going, tell me. This, 
Well, where's Ben? I just let him in. There he is. Really cool. All right, let's have. We'll do. We'll do everybody. We'll see. Grant, <coughs> let's try your share. And if I go like this, that means go back on mute because it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> Cash, go on mute. Ben, go on mute for me. So, oh no. We need to not have this. So my day, I don't know. My day was so-so. I worked on getting the protective gear for the nurses and doctors. And I made a small delivery to uh, a hospital. And on the way home, what I decided to do was just stop by smaller places, not hospitals, but like urgent cares and dialysis places. I only stopped at two. It was one urgent care and one dialysis place. And it's always interesting doing this because you're just a guy that comes in and you say, hi, my name is Dan Lucart. I'm running a kind of guerrilla campaign to supply nurses and doctors and healthcare professionals with protective equipment free of charge. And everybody's first reaction is always like, why is this guy trying to scam me? <laughs> so it, it stinks to encounter this reaction because you're doing it to help people, but people are very, you get the skeptical look over and some people are more skeptical than others, let's say. Um, so I stopped by an urgent care. They had kind of a skepticalness about them, but it ended up okay. And then I stopped at a dialysis place. That's for people who are diabetic mainly, um, so that their body can continue to work. They have to sit there and a machine filters their blood. It's a, yeah. So when I got to the dialysis place, it was one of the worst situations that I'd seen. At the hospitals, they are used to the procedures of highly infectious diseases. So they have their ER room, they close it down, and they do all their screening outside. So the patients are not mingling, so they have a bunch of air, um, fresh air, so they're not encased in a small room. And at this place, there was just the, our most vulnerable population, which is the old and the sick. That's who goes to dialysis. And they were mingling. They were giving lip service to the social distancing. They weren't really doing it. It was kind of like sometimes they would and sometimes they weren't. It was a small room about maybe no bigger than what you guys are seeing on your screen right now. And there was like eight, nine people at a time sitting down in this room and they're coughing. 
Some had face masks, but some had them over their mouth and not their nose, and some didn't have the face masks. And uh, I was trying to do the same thing of introducing myself. The staff told me they were reusing their masks for a month, and then they were cleaning them in a way which damaged the masks, actually, so they don't work. I tried to explain that and say, here, here's some more supplies. Here's even more for your waiting room. Here's what others are doing with outside waiting rooms. Uh, but they actually kicked me out. <laughs> so that was very frustrating. So that was right before this. So I'm actually really disheartened because I try and do this so I can help the situation, help our community and help the healthcare workers. And it's really not fun being the bad guy. Many times I'm a superhero, but I, I alternate between being a superhero and being a bad guy to people. So it's, it's incredibly crazy. Um, so that's kind of what my day was. So I'm pretty disheartened. Maybe some exercise, getting my blood flowing just to my brain will kind of cheer me up a little bit. Ari, I see you in there. I'll let you in in just one second. Um, so I don't know if I can help those people. I might just mail them some material, but they still took some masks, but they said that they might not use them. And these masks are ones that people in ER departments would just like kill for. Um, so I gave them 10 and that was Ben's dad that gave me those 10. So uh, hopefully they use them. So let me let Ari in and we'll get started with some jumping jacks, okay? All right, I'm gonna do them with you today. So let me get ready. <coughs> All right, hey, welcome back, Ari. We're gonna do 80 jumping jacks because I'm gonna do them. I need to keep my exercise load a little down while I'm sick. Here we go, let's do them together, Grant. Let's do them together. Ready? You're so clear today, Grant. I like it. Oh wait, you guys are bigger. I can actually see you. I was able to stretch it today. They improved it. Hang on, hang on. I upgraded. I upgraded the zoom that I'm using. So there were some upgrades. That's really neat. Hang on. Oh, shoot. All right, Ari, go on mute. Here we go, 80 together. Ready? Get set and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Good. Squats 20. Ready? Go. One, two, non-stop. Three, four. Let's get our cardio. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 20 lunges. One, two, three, four. Hand, hands off of your knees, Enzo. Grant, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep it up, Ari. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Touch your heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just keep going, Ari. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go catch. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. High knees. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Crunches. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Crunches are you twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Legs up in the close guard. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, triangles, lift your hips, hands at your side. Ready, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lift those hips, seven, kind of rock. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Triangle your foot behind your knee, Ari. 13, 14, Ari like this, look. 15, 16, keep going Ari, don't stop, 17, Ari, don't stop, 18, 19, 20, good, now we're going to do 20 seconds of kickers, ready, go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, head off the mat, 6, 7, Enzo, keep going, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Chin to your chest. Ready? And I gotta let people in. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, chin to your shoulder. It was nobody. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30. Ear to your shoulder. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Crab walks, ready, go. One, two, this is intense. Four, the pace today. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Bear crawls, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Nice. That old sequence, that'll get you good. How, did, how does that feel, Grant? Better than playing video games, Grant. Yeah. What's your, what's your favorite video game, Grant? I didn't hear it. Whatever. Go on mute. All right. Here we go. I want to give you just a couple of seconds to rest. We're going to do our push-up challenge. I'll do 20. You do as many as you can, okay? All right. <sighs> 10 more seconds to rest. What's up, Andrew? Nah. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, it's Friday. You get rest, some of you, over the weekend. Do as many push ups as you can. Ready? And go. What's today's date? What's today's date? 10th? Okay. All right, Grant, how many was it? Um, 43. 
43. Thank you, Grant. All right, next, Miles. 49. Oh, you're one short of 50. 50 is like ultra elite territory. Enzo. 10. Enzo. 5, 8. Let me see, Enzo. Where are you? Hey, nice. Let me see if this is a personal best. Almost a personal best, Enzo. You're one short of a personal best. Or one short of tying your personal best, I should say. Your personal best is 11. Andrew. No way you got more. 63. 60 got two more. Prove that doubter's wrong. Very nice. I don't even know what to say. Uh, and, because, Andrew, quite honestly, I'm most impressed with um, your form when you're doing these. Um, sometimes I'm not as impressed with people's forms when they put up high numbers. <laughs> but not mentioning anybody in particular. <laughs> um, yeah, but yours is impeccable. Cash money. Oh, he's still going. I see his. I see his back going up and down. Cash. If I see your, if I see your hips go up, if I see your rump, I know that you're sticking your butt in the air. All right, Ari, how many do you have? Twenty-seven. What is it? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Is that a personal best? It is, by a long shot. Ari, great job, man. Really great. All right, cash money. Eighty two. Eighty two. Unbelievable. Almost literally. <laughs> really good cash money. I appreciate your effort. That's really good. That's man, cash. You have all that energy all day. All right. Let's get our dummies. Grant, since you couldn't get the the ghee on the dummy, just get that towel like we had last time. So if you have no ghee. Just get a towel and we'll roll it up. I'll demonstrate on something with, with no gi on, okay? All right. Cash money, go get that towel, like a bath towel. Give you a second. I see Ari. He's uh, getting it ready. Miles is getting it ready. Enzo disappeared somewhere, never to be seen again. Whoa, Ari's so close. He's so big. Did we lost somebody. We lost Grant. Which means he's going to be requesting in in just a second. Grant's internet's not so great.
Okay, so if you don't have a gi on your dummy or you couldn't get it on, I need you to get your towel and I'm going to need you to roll it up in a reasonable like ball, like a rope style. You just wrap it around itself just like this a couple of times. See that cash? And then just kind of tuck it in behind his head. That's all that you need. Something like that. So there's Grant, of course, right when I get started. Let me just make sure that this is Grant, our Grant. Grant, you there? Grant. There he is. Good. All right, Grant, get your towel. We're ready to go. <laughs> so, we're doing the cross choke. And I'm going to try a different method of teaching it today. I'm going to go from simple, super simple, and then I'll add things to make it complicated over time. Because not for everybody, but for some people, it was a little bit too detailed the way that I, that I showed it. So first, I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to put a cross collar grip in. So if I have a towel, I'm going to go and I'm just going to grab it just like this you're gonna grab a palm up grip. So you should be able to like swat yourself in the face if you make that grip right. So palm up right. Now, all I'm gonna do is palm down left over the top. Now, I'm gonna pick him up into me and choke. And I choke by doing my wrists away from each other like this, watch. Here's how it goes. That's what you do. What you want to avoid is this. Don't do this. You see how my elbows went out? Watch, watch, here's way number one, the right way to do it. And then way number two, less efficient, is like you do your wrists and your elbows. Does that make sense, Enzo? The way that I'm, give me thumbs up if it makes sense. All the way to the camera, Enzo. All right, okay, I understand, Enzo. So once we get our grips for the cross choke, so just pretend that you have them, even if you don't understand it. You finish. When I say squeeze, I want you to go like this. Enzo, can you do this motion for me? Everybody do this motion right now. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Ari. And I don't even care if your hands are the correct way right now, honestly. Good. All right, stop. So, right hand palm up, left hand palm down. Pick them up and squeeze. Squeeze is that. Now, when I pick them up, I just post my leg a little tiny bit. But I don't want to lean back. Watch this. Watch a not good way to do it. I pick them up. But you see how I leaned back? Don't. Look how my body stays there. It's like I'm wringing his neck. Come on, Johnny. All right. Anyways, moving on. So, right hand palm up, left hand palm down. Then pick them up without leaning and squeeze. All right, that's it. Ready, set, jujitsu. Good, Miles. I watched that one. Thank you, Sir Irving. All right, let's see, Andrew. Andrew's doing it on the other side. Andrew's adding details. He's a detail adder. Good. Cash, where are you going? I want to see some cross choking. Go to the back. 
bathroom. Okay. Just let me know next time, okay? Just so I know where you're going. Yeah, Ari, question. Can I do it in two different ways? No. Oh, you mean both sides? Yeah, both Yeah, that's sides. fine. That's fine, Ari. Oh, okay. Thanks. All right, let me see. Position yourself so I can see your hands, all right? Deeper, Ari, deeper, deeper, all the way to the ground. Yeah, good, Ari. Ari's giving me the best view here. Deeper with your second hand, deeper, Ari, all the way behind. More, 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 Ari, more, 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 more. Oh, Grant, giving me the perfect view. Thank you, Grant. Good, that's the correct grip, Grant. That's the correct grip. Good. The only thing here, Grant, and this is true whether towel or not, but here's how you want to grab it. You don't want to grab it so far out. You see that I'm going to exaggerate so you can see. There's so much space in between his head and the ear. We want to grab it like flush on either side so we don't have like a ton of room. Here it's flush. Here is a ton of room. Make sense what I mean when I'm saying this? I tried to exaggerate a little bit so it could look better. Thumbs up if you understand. Good, all right. All right, Cash Money, go ahead. Let's see some drills. Oh, Ari, there's, there's something wrong when you're doing it on the other side. So put your left hand, palm up. You don't need to unmute, just go, 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 good. Now over the top, over the top, no, 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 over the top. Yeah, then that second one goes in. Thumb in. Yes. Deeper, deeper, deeper grips. Deeper grips. Otherwise, I'm sicking Enzo's dog on you. That can happen, right? Just teleport. Scalta, you beat me up. Where's Cash? I haven't seen Cash do one. Cash, adjust your camera to where I can see it. All right, perfect cash money. Good. A little deeper grips would help Enzo. All the way in there. Good cash. Deep, 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 deep. Good. Second hand. Now pick him up into your stomach and then squeeze hard. Very good. We'll go with bird, bird. Somebody should highlight, make it like download all these videos and make a highlight clip of me doing absurd stuff for teaching class. That would probably qualify. Okay, time. Everybody get to sit to where I can see your face. Nice. <laughs> Cash is doing a pose. So, this was the simplest way that I could think of teaching you while still keeping it effective. Now, here's what I want you to do. We're gonna put our right hand in the collar. Same. Now, when I do that, I'm gonna lean to the side. Look, I'm gonna put my free hand on the mat and I'm gonna lean a little bit that way. Then, what I'm gonna do, all of a sudden, is make my second grip and then go for the choke. So I'm trying to add one tiny little detail at a time, okay? So, hand in the collar, and right when that goes in, I lean. The same side that the collar is. See how I'm grabbing the collar on this side, so I'm gonna lean on that side. And then all of a sudden, when I'm ready to go, then I'll make my second grip and choke. Okay, that's it. Two minutes, ready, go. Can I kind of stand by chance? Can you do it one more time? Yes, 
We're doing the same thing, Cash. Hand in the collar. And when I do, I lean. And then it's the same thing. All of a sudden, just do the choke. Okay? That's it, Cash. Go ahead. Thirty more seconds. Paro, you know. I just thought of something right now is that I want you guys I see somebody right now that's trying to get into our meeting his name is Johnny well I know a Johnny so what's the problem I don't know if it's my Johnny or another Johnny I know this one isn't my Johnny but um, for Andrew what's your last name Andrew Emil. Oh, I knew that. I would, I would recognize that. Why don't you put Andrew A or something? You don't have to get your full name if you want. But just something, something where I can see more than Andrew. Because I'm seeing Joe and Johnny and, you know, Andrew might show up there. R-E, just always use R-E capital. And Grant, your name is fine. Enzo, fine. Cash Money, fine. Miles, I don't think we're going to get any fake Miles in here. Maybe not. Miles and miles. Okay. So, um, next thing, next detail that we can layer in like a cake is I want you to put your head on the mat. That's the new detail, Cash. Head on the mat. You don't need to see it a bunch. Watch. Hand in the collar and I lean. Watch carefully. Now I put my head on the mat on the other side, just like this. Just put your head on the mat. Now make your grip. And then get the choke. The only new details. Head on the mat. What's the new detail? Enzo Grace say. Head on the mat. That is correct, Enzo. Very good. Hand in the collar and lean. Now head on the other side. Now make the grip and just do it normal. Okay. Do you guys understand? All right, I haven't really given you understanding of why we're doing each one of these steps, but that's okay, that can come later. Just be monkeys, monkey see, monkey do. And monkey do is gonna be monkey head on a mat. Ready, go. All right, I'm watching Andrew. Andrew, other side, funk side. Yep. Deep grips. Good. Good. All right, Andrew, new detail for you. When we're in the mount, you haven't learned it yet, so it's not anything you're doing wrong. I want you to be in what I call the high mount, okay? So you're gonna scoot up underneath your dad's armpits. That contrasts when you're a little lower, like you're sitting on their waist, basically. You're gonna already be here, and the whole time that they move around, you're gonna keep your feet back here glued to the hips. So sometimes they raise their hips up, looking to bridge, and you'll follow them. Just imagine, the dummy can't bridge, but imagine that the hips go up, I go up. He goes down, I goes down. 
He goes left, I go left, or right, or whatever the case is. You're always going to keep the feet right there. And when you put your head on the mat, watch this. Notice that my butt isn't sitting on him anymore. So you're isolated from what he's doing. So he can move around all over the place. And all you need to do is just follow with that feet. Okay? All right. Miles, same thing. I should have Miles paid attention. I'm looking at you, Grant, too. That's good, Grant. Good, Grant. That's a good job, Grant. Grant, Grant, Grant. I better have you in class tomorrow, Grant. At 11, no, 10 o'clock. And I'm going to make you do extra grueling exercise. So you have that to look forward to, Grant. You got it? Give me thumbs up, Grant. Grant money. Hey, what? That's so funny. We have cash money and we have grant money. Ah. Ah. Oh, I crack myself up. You guys don't know what a grant is, do you? Maybe Grant does. Miles does. Okay. Cash money, do you know what a grant is? It's where you beg for money and they give it to you. That's what a grant is. Don't even try and talk, Grant. It's not going to be worth it. Oh, I see what you're doing, Grant. Grant money. There we go. I love that, Grant. <laughs> see, we got to have... Oh, Ari got kicked out. Hang on. I see you, Ari. Oh, no. Ari left. I'm going to wait for him over here. Because he's just trying to get my attention. I turned off the ding dong when they come in. Cash, keep going, Cash Money. Oh, Cash changed him his to Cash Money. I like it, guys. Calling Ari. Where is Ari? Where is Ari? He's over here, he's over here, hand in the collar, choke him till he hollers, cross, choke, Ari. <coughs> I guess Ari's gone. Cash money, Grant, no begging. Cash showing his humor. All right, Cash, let me see that your head goes on that, dummy. Or on the mat, I should say. Good. No, no, head other side, Cash money. No, no, no. Cash, your head goes on the right hand side. Try again. Try again. No, no, no. Your hand was correct. Now lean. Okay, hang on. I'll be over, Cash. Hang on. Gonna get it fixed. Gonna fix ya. So, right hand in the collar, Cash. Go. Right hand in the collar. Good. When you put the right hand in the collar, put your left hand out. Good. And lean that towards your hand. Good. Knees on the mat, Cash. You're just in mount. Get in the mount, Cash. Okay, good. Now, Put your head on the other side. The other side, Cash. Good, and then get up the choke. Stand, I'm gonna get a, get a refill of my water.
Jen? Yeah. Have you given any other small details for us to add? Just while we're, on we're just doing head on the mat. Oh, we're okay. Almost done. We're almost done. Nothing new yet? Okay, time. And. All right, come back over here. It's Pictionary time. It's Pictionary time. It's time to play Family Feud. All right, quiet. We'll start when it's quiet. Okay. Here we go. This is on medium. So some of these are actually pretty hard. I think this one will be okay for me after a little while. Let's see. All right, ready? Get set and go. Oh, I don't want it yellow. What am I doing? What? Yeah. I figured it out. It's 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 a puddle. Oh. A fish. A shoot. Bow tie. Shoot. Bird. Shoot. Shoot. Tadpole. Tadpole. Star Fire. Baseball bat. Lava. Volcano. Up to draw, like maybe a little. I don't know. That's what. That's where I was going. That. That's really bad. We did that. We did that. How's your quarantine going? Uh, I'm just playing Pictionary with Coach Dan. He's a really bad drawer, though. I thought that was a mountain. Yeah, it wasn't a good drawing. I'll give you that. All right, create Pictionary. Oh, oh this one's more obscure. Let's see if I can do this one. Ooh, obscure. I like that word. Okay, let's do this. A tree. 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 A yeah, it's so seaweed. Rock climbing. <laughs> if any adult horse. watching wants to give this one a try, this is. Rain. Seahorse. Rain. Shall we? Give up? Yeah. No. Any a more fat guesses? Man a hot balloon walking through a mountain. Floating? This. Wait, what is it? This is a stingray. <laughs> oh, I see it now. <laughs> oh, 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 That's the only one you guys haven't got. His hand is red, but why did they go oh. all the way down? <laughs> 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 that was, yeah, he got stung by a balloon. What? It looks like a balloon. Yeah, no, I'm with you. It doesn't look very much like a stingray. All right. How is he breathing on the water? He has his, his air tanks right here. Look, here's the bubbles. These are the bubbles from being underwater. There's his fins. Cisco. Hey, oh, that, that's a okay. I'm gonna save this one, and I'm gonna see if anybody gets this on my social shit. media. That's such it. You know, they got so the archaeologist one on my social media. I was impressed. I was super impressed. Guys, now Pierce just goes here to help. All right, I'm gonna do another one. Medium. I like these medium ones. Ooh, how do I draw that? Huh. 
Giraffe? You're actually not allowed to draw arrows, but I'm going to draw an arrow. Stock market. Oh, it's an arrow! It's an arrow! It's an arrow! Corner! Miles got it. It's a corner. Corner. Final. Yeah, I cheated. You're not supposed to draw arrows in Pictionary. But I think I need all the help I can get. Okay, this is this is. Circle an area they want to focus on. Kite, diamond, play. Uh, diamond, diamond, pizza, pizza, basic, luxury store, clamshell, uh. <laughs> Lazy pizza. Yes. Our radar. Cake. 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 Wow, you guys are bad. I thought you'd get this. Field. Field. Oh, wait, who said it? Who said field? Enzo. Enzo got it. No, it's not baseball field. It's just field. Oh. I was gonna get you to baseball field and then. I couldn't. I would not have guessed that. Well, I was just about to draw a man for scale. Like, you would have got this now. Like, like you would have got that right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the ball, and then going down. Yeah, you would have got it. I was going to draw people, but I was like, oh, it's going to be an inefficient use of time. Here's my people. My peoples. All right, one last one. Okay, last one. Is it a giraffe? Oh, this is super hard. No, I think I can. Giraffe, guess. giraffe. Okay, don't guess right away. I gotta give some context first. What are you the poo? Final answer. Tree. 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 Is it a tree? Oh, tree. Redwood tree. Uh, An apple tree. Woodpecker. Oak tree. Orange tree. Leaves. Elm tree. Elm tree. Stump. Oak wood. Hammer, uh, chainsaw, stump. Wood. Saw. Beer house. In the top. Branch, branch, branch. Logs. Stick, Long. branch. Long. 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 I'm winning. Miles is the closest. Miles it's not, is. It's not a branch. It's cl super close. Stick? Wait, twig? Wait, what did you say, Miles? Was the last twig? One? Twig. Miles got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Miles is grand <laughs> champion. Grand champion, Miles. <laughs> that was pretty good. Like, I couldn't have done it better. On that. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you later, okay? Bye, Coach Dan. Later. Bye, Coach Dan. Thank you. Oh, tomorrow at 10. Tomorrow at 10. Tomorrow at 10. Bye. I'll see you on Monday. Tomorrow at 10, Enzo. See ya.
Hey, Dad. Hey. Hey, what's up? I'm just doing some things. Hang on. No There's problem. a Johnny in the waiting room, but I don't think it was. It's our Johnny. So I got a message. <laughs> I just see how to change our game also. I'll see. It will be Enzo money. <laughs> and so money. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Wait, she's joining the audio. Here it comes. This is Christina from Boston coming up. And so money. <laughs> And so that funny. looks like <laughs> a, a broccoli <laughs> with a brown burned stem. Like someone doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> My friend Julio might be here. Just to let you know, he said he's going to be here. Julio oh, Mendez. Wait, I should joining the audio. Here it comes. Here. I, I Austin coming up. And so funny. <laughs> All right, you're going on mute, Christina. You have a massive delay. And you are false. This Pictionary that I just played with the kids was stick. Come on, how could you not get that? Hello, Julio, welcome. Is, is Julio from Boston? Chris, when Christina comes in, she acts like I don't know who she is. And every single time she introduces herself and she introduces herself as Christina from Boston. So this is somewhat of her thing, Julio. Right. I think it was me, Dan, because I have it on YouTube. The YouTube was delayed, and it was playing, so I think you heard it twice when it's coming in. But oh, I think it was you. You were the offender, and, and somebody <laughs> yeah. else got chastised for it. <laughs> what the heck? I think it's Dan. Hey, Julio. All right. I don't want to share my screen. Julio, saying hi to you, and you're just sitting there. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, he's just sitting there. It's weird. Maybe he can't hear uh, us. I think my camera <laughs> ran out of uh, ran out of juice. Hang on, and I also need to post this in the private group. Coolio, let's see your dummy you made. Hang on, I want to see, see it too. I want to see it too. Hang on, but I have to invite people. They changed the the. the uh, they just updated. And there's small changes, and I can't figure out how to get my uh, <laughs> the share button isn't in the normal spot. Where is it? Are we ready to go today? I only bought one pasta. So. <laughs> Don't you just dislike it as much as I do when some operating system or something just changes the location of an uh, icon or? And then you don't know where it is. It's there somewhere. And then you just spend. You yeah, know, I know. It's not in the normal spot. You have to pay for tech support. I do. I'm on like the, the, the main panel. All right. I guess I'll just share the YouTube really quick. Okay. Instead of the link. Oh, I found it in the YouTube comments. I had it. I'm tardy. I'm pulling. I'm pulling a uh, Enzo money. <laughs> it's so distracting. Hang on, Johnny. Okay, I. It was actually Johnny, and I banned him. <laughs> That's okay. Johnny deserves banning. And what do you guys care if somebody Zoom bombs us? Like, oh, no, a bad word. With the juniors, it's a little bit more. Uh... Hey, Johnny, you there? Johnny Five. Hello. Hello. Where's your video, Johnny? Johnny. Okay. 
No, we're. I'm not starting this class until you get out of portrait mode. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's unacceptable. Am I? Am I uh, here? You're here, Johnny. You're here. I don't see anything. That's because my camera ran out of batteries. Hang on. One moment, Johnny Five. Irving, what's up, man? Johnny, how you doing? Hey, good. I see all those games you're playing, man. Too many. <laughs> I just installed Witcher 2, and I, play, I I got through the intro screen, but that was it, and then I had to stop. <laughs> I didn't even like make it, like start the game or anything. Ah. It, it was that complicated. <laughs> I mean, I just, I've just i been playing my other game. <laughs> It's too that, hard. Ha that happened to me with StarCraft. I, I tried to get through the main menu and that was it. I had to quit. <laughs> Brent's here. Brent left the meeting. Well, he left? Why? No, he didn't, Johnny. Johnny, this is your first time. This is That's what the notification said. You need to let the pros handle this because Brent is in here. Mr. No Camera Having Pro? Oh wait, where's your friend? Your friend left. There we go. Hey, what's up guys? Sorry, I couldn't hear anything. Christina, your friend left. Oh no, he's not. He's right there. I just, Christina I just forgot, what, him? I forgot what screen he was on. Johnny, why does your hair look so long and black? I haven't had a haircut in a long time. Feel you can do just whatever you want to your hair now that you're world champion? You just don't care or something? I've been world champion, and yes, I can do what I wish. <laughs> do you know who I am? Uh, you know who I am. Who's that behind you, Johnny? Oh, Guards, take her away. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. That's not Juanito. That's not Juanito Cita. We're not social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's okay if you live together already. Oh, okay. Think, I don't think we're risking anything when, when you're roommates. So, yeah. Um, so, we have... I should just let you guys talk for a few minutes. I think that's my main contribution to your lives right now. To see oh. a few people uh, that are in your normal, everyday routine. Um, but this is Julio. Say hi, Julio. Hi, Julio. Hey, um, Julio, tell us about yourself. Where do you train? How much experience do you have? What belt level are you, etc.? Is he a frozen frame? That's what I'm saying. It's like we were talking to him earlier and he was just sitting there. Huh. I don't know if he's not oh, Julio, no, are you there? Yeah, and the way that you did it previously, uh, for me, I actually had to manually click uh, join audio and start video. Yeah, that's normal. Oh, I he's on a delay. What is he watching? He's watching the YouTube. I'll tech. Don't watch the YouTube. Yeah, Anybody he's. I did you send him the YouTube link, Christina? To get no, him? I him the, Zoom, the Zoom link. Yeah, he has to manually join with the audio in the video. Yeah. So Julio, maybe he can hear us. He's just reacting, twenty seconds behind. He's texting. Let's let them get get underway, and we can just chat. Ooh, Johnny's, Johnny has the Rolls Royce of grappling dummies. Just by the way, Kevin's here, hang on. Oh my God, Johnny, what champion is here? Yeah. Johnny. 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 Is that how you won your IBJJF tournament, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I was saying there's a little bit of a delay, but I'm like, why is there a delay if you're on? You're it's on okay. Zoom. They don't have internet in Boston. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Kevin, we were just trying to get Julio. He's he's uh, one of Christina's training partners over in Boston. Could he uh, just leave the Zoom room and come back in? Yeah, do it. You're gonna pop this cap and tap it. I'd say I have nowhere to be, but that's false. I have several places to be. Yeah, you have people rescue. Ray, Tell them to exit and come back in. Kevin. Hey, Irving, how you doing? Good. Yeah, Christina. Johnny, Johnny, why are you beating up the dummy? 
Oh, he dressed out for Nogi, too. <laughs> and no one can stop me. Is Brett wearing a white belt there? <laughs> no. It's my purple belt, thank you. Oh, is that right? Okay, it just looks super faded. I continue to watch it, so... <laughs> that, that does not look like a purple belt. No, it doesn't. But you know what? When my purple belt, I, I never washed it. Oh, to Brent. And within, I'm not kidding, one month, you couldn't tell if it was blue or purple. It was horrible. And that's one month. You know, I'm two years going to be a, a purple belt. By the end of it, you didn't know if it was white, blue, or purple. It was like that, that very pale. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've trained uh, like over at King's or at other places. And they're like, uh, is that actually a white belt? <laughs> like, oh, no. Actually. Is you pretty good for a white belt, you know? <laughs> like, man, the, just say yes. Just say yes. What, the next card, what, man. It's, it's, it's better for you to say yes because then they're like, oh my gosh, the Brayag people, they're so good. That's how, that's how a white belt is like, so good. They're not going to look at you unfavorably. They'll look at you more favorably if you're a white belt. They'll remember you forever. All right, test Julio. Can you hear me now? I can, yes. Yes, it worked. Success. Okay. So, um, oh, we have somebody from Russia trying to uh, get in. Oh, my gosh. It's a hacker, Dan. Collusion. It's a hacker. Collusion. I, could, I could have some genitalia drawn on my face <laughs> during class. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Julio, uh, tell us where you train, what, how much experience do you have, what belt do you, what's your, what's your focus in jiu-jitsu competition or fun or self-defense or like where are you coming from? Yeah, I train at Boston Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the same uh, place that uh, Christina trains at in Boston. I've uh, been there for about six months now, I'm a white belt. Okay. Uh, the focus is primarily just uh, self-defense, having fun. Uh, I don't have a... Just like, Anything. whatever, I'm here, this thing interested me in yeah. your forest exactly. duck feather floating. Yeah, that's true. Awesome. So this is more or less how our classes are normally run. Um, okay. We're pretty informal. Um, so what I'm going to show today is grappling dummies of any type. Um, but while I'm remembering, I could really use help with one of these dummies, the black ones, going to um, Ruth. Does anybody know Ruth? She's been training in the mornings. She's, okay, should I let uh, Gracie Baja Whistler in? Oh, he, he left. I don't know. I don't know, should we let him in? He's gotta wear a Braille Jiu-Jitsu He left. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he has to, and, and um, he has to wear the Braille Jiu-Jitsu gi in order to get into the room. <laughs> $165 payable directly to my personal bank account. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tell us not about it, Gracie pictures. <laughs> oh man, so Kevin, those 10 that you gave me, that was the 10 that I posted about, uh, Michelle's here. That was the 10 that I posted about in the dialysis place, by the way. Oh, cool. That's the place Did you, you, you heard about, you listened to the post? Oh, they, that's the one that kicked you out? Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> should have taken him back. Yeah, hang on. Like, no, nope, you get nothing. No, it's the opposite. That's way too cliche for me, that picture that Michelle has. Wait, I heard that you're not supposed to give uh, help to people that don't respect you. <laughs> no, it, it ended, it no, ended with me pleading for her to take more masks um, so that she could give them to those patients. So for those of you that missed it, I'll give you the real story instead of stuff I was censoring. I was on Whittier Boulevard on the way home. I was hitting up all the places to give PPE for nurses. That's what I'm doing, Julio. I'm trying to get the protective gear for nurses. Awesome. I'm working with a lot of different people, whatever. So I'm on the way home. I have a lot of extra masks that are not the ultimate level, but more than a surgical. And I have some other stuff too. So I went to urgent care. And when you don't know people, when you don't know them, you are met with the, may I help you, sir? You know, you know that, that tone that says, what the heck are you at doing here? But it's, may I help you, sir? <laughs> like, you know, yeah. you're met with that tone immediately. And then you say, you know, hello, my name is Dan Lucart. 
I'm running more or less a guerrilla operation to supply free PPE for nurses and doctors and any healthcare worker. Do you guys have any immediate needs that I can fill? So like that's my initial pitch. And that is often met with like like 50% enthusiasm and 50% skepticism. Yep. <laughs> and you have to you have to be very delicate about how you do it and you increase that ratio up to like 90 or 100 percent trust and that process is is quite taxing mentally to be honest with you because you know oh what's your what what do you guys how are you guys managing your reuse right like that might be one question that i ask or you reuse, reuse of your n95 respirators and like this lady, I said, how are, how are you dealing with the sanitation of your respirators? And she goes, this isn't a respirator. She's wearing a, 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 an N95 respirator, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> so it's like, do I correct her? Do I let it slide? No. You know, you're trying to this trust building thing. And then she says that she's been uh, spraying it with bleach and wiping it down with Clorox wipes. Uh. Which, it, if, you, if, you're, if you're familiar with any of the research that's coming out, then there's a lot of it, you know, because this is urgent research, is that that reduces it by about 30%. Like, like you don't do that. So it's like, what do you do with that information? Do you correct them? Or in the interest of building your relationship, nobody wants to feel corrected. So like, I, I airballed here. I started it out with like saying, oh, you know, there's some studies that have come out that show that that actually reduces the amount. So now they're more defensive. You know what I'm saying? They're doing something wrong. And your, your ratio is fading. Basically, this ratio was like going down to the ground until it finally crashed. And she's like, get out. <laughs> I mean, it's what? funny when I'm talking to you, but it's not funny when you're there. Because it's, oh. it honestly feels like you have a dozen flowers and you're going over to some girl's house that that you like who has no idea who you are that's what it feels like when you're going to these places uh, so but like and, and just to have the th flowers thrown back in your face and go get out you're ugly that's what it feels like when you're doing this all right let me allow michelle in again because she kicked herself out doesn't know how to work the internet well, yeah, Dan, I don't know if you can hear me, but actually, if you treat them with bleach, it's, act, it's actually cost, it's poisonous. It actually has residuals of the hypochlorite. Uh, that no duh, being. Brent. This is just common sense, right? Like, no duh. Well, like, my work recommended using isopropyl alcohol. And no. Said, Absolutely not. No. no. And I, I posted in a group text against the, the head nurse's recommendation that, no, you don't do that. Can yes. I do that? You, you, no, not only he, are you breathing like in alcohol, so you have those VOCs that you're breathing in, yeah. it's like, it, it, it makes the mask like almost the same as a surgical mask by yeah, doing it's that. Half. And, and, and it it's worse it's because it's, it's a false sense of security. You're like, okay, I got, I'm gonna do some aerosolizing procedures. I have my N95 on. But it's like, how, what, what do you do? Barf all this information out like to yeah. somebody? You're dealing with people. people and my and my the CEO of the company, you know, like yeah. but you gotta do what's right. I did it. But they haven't changed it yet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do some jujitsu, shall we? Because that's Finally. why we convened here today. So I'm gonna do one that works on any type of grappling dummy that you have. And it works no if you don't have a, does everybody have a gi on their dummy? Um, Julio, do you have a gi on your dummy? I do. Yeah. Yeah. My okay, I'll just show it with be, behind this. So, uh, like I was saying, I need a delivery to Ruth in Whittier, if you, any of you are willing, by the way. So, because I've been ignoring her at the expense of, like, supplying masks to ICU units. Not ignoring, I remember, but just couldn't do it. So, we're going to do the cross joke, and we're going to do it in sequentially, um, more detailed layers. The first one is just gonna be junk. I mean, it's gonna be absolute garbage just to get us in the right, like, the right places, in the, in the ballpark. Then we'll add a detail, add a detail, add a detail, add a detail, and it'll be small amount of drilling, but with, uh, like, a lot of corrections throughout an a 20 minute process. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a four finger in grip inside the gi, 
And then I'm gonna put a thumb and grip over the top of my arm. Now, to go, do the finish, I'm gonna pick him up into me and then I'm gonna do the choke. So let me talk about how to do the choke specifically. Um, the finish, what you're gonna do when you have your grips is you want it to come from the wrists just like this. You don't want to flare your elbows out as you maybe do the wrist to compensate. Sometimes you will have to if your grips are no good. Sometimes you do the full extension and they're just not choking. You might need to do this, but this is a less efficient way to do it and makes it less li more likely that you'll not get the choke. So deep grips will solve that problem, just going all the way to the ground basically. If you're going to error on going too shallow or going too deep, too deep is a little bit better. There is a point where it becomes actually too deep, but you guys won't do that, trust me. It's just like a theoretical possibility. So just more or less put it down all the way to the ground with your palm up. This is a four finger in grip or a palm up grip. Those are the two ways that you describe that. And then your second one is palm down or thumb in is the second way to describe it. Make sure your grips are good. Now, when I said pick them up, you're gonna flex your wrist. He doesn't quite choke the same way, but you flex your wrists and fall down together. You kind of inch back in the mouth. And then ideally, they're getting, you're getting the tap right at the end now. In order to pull him up, what I want you to do is post your foot a tiny, tiny bit. Look at this. So it's on the ground. In order to post, I'm just gonna be like this. Not bringing it up all the way to have like a great big post, but just like your knee just pressed in nice and tight with a small post with your grips in place. Pick them up and then fall and get the choke. Last detail is when you pick them up, don't lean back. Don't do this. The kids always do this. You see how I leaned back? You're going to stay here, pick them up, and then fall together. There's no leaning back. It's kind of pointless to pick them up into your stomach and then you lean back. The relative distance between the two of you is the same. Okay, last time. Palm up, palm down, post your foot a tiny bit, pick them up, and then choke as you fall. This, you need more info to do this. But practice that. Two and a half minutes. Go. I'm not getting a tap. <laughs> Very funny. Got a question? Yeah, hang on one second. Let me let Michelle in. Michelle is, Michelle is the one that's... Uh, How do you know? Because I listened to what he said. How else? All right. Who had the question? Was it Julio? No, I don't have a question. Who was it? No, I was talking to Mark. Oh, I was talking to my dad. Mark was impersonating Matt Grant. <laughs> Matt's got something going on right now. Good, Christina. Very Christina, sure. I almost think something just like any solid surface and a towel behind it would be better for this. Damn! What's up? How come I don't see you? I don't know how to turn my camera on. Oh my gosh. How do you turn your camera on? Oh, push the three dots button. Yeah. Upper right, up right corner. Let me, let me ask, send her a request for cameras. I'm asking you to start video now. It's really hard thing to use these cell phones. You, you don't know how many buttons they put on these these days, Michelle. I had a baby. I got really not that smart. Living my life. Okay. Everything's good there. Not my. Did I press cancel or okay? Oh, okay. Hmm. If you're trying to get your camera to work, would you hit cancel or would you hit open? Mm. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm canceling this class if we're in portrait mode. Sorry. No, I'll turn it. Don't yes, worry. okay. Like that. Let me make sure everybody's grips are in the right places. Viviana. Deeper on that second grip, Viviana. Deeper. Deep. No, that's shallower. Yeah, there you go. Good, Viviana. What's Johnny doing? He's choking a dummy. Oh, wait, no. Who is that? Oh, it's Juan. Hi, Sensei Dan. Hey, what's up? 
Uh, no, the grip was uh, wrong for whoever's working with Kevin. I don't know if it's uh, number it's two more. or three. All right, make yeah. your first grip. That sounded like uh, Mark. Yeah? It is totally Mark. Yeah, okay. So you're going to do a left hand lead? Do a right hand lead. Are you right handed? Yeah. Do a right hand lead. Good. But one. other way, fi flip your hand around. There you go. And then the other one goes over the top of it. Good. Thumb and grip. Deep, 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 deep. Post your right foot now. Tiny bit. Now pick them up into your stomach and fall together. Okay. Time. So you are going to do everything the exact same and add one element to it. That was the minimum amount of detail that I could have and still have a functional choke. With a little bit of increase, like a little bit of like resolution increase at the end when we picked them up to our, like how to finish, the actual final finish, which is the least important part. The important part is getting your grips and not losing them out. That's the hard part about the cross choke. So what I'm gonna do is right as my hand goes in, I'm leaning. It's like connected. It's one movement. I'm leaning to the side that I'm putting the hand in the collar. So just your free hand it goes out as you're going in, just like this. And then make that grip. And then post on your hand. Lean this way, and then everything else, all of a sudden, do the choke. Okay? That's the little detail I'm layering in. It's an incomplete picture. But get used to things being incomplete. I do not agree with the philosophy of it needs to be the perfect way to practice every time, otherwise you're going to build a bad habit. If I told you every detail that I know about this, and this was your first go, go around at it, you remember nothing. I would just overwhelm you with details. That's it. So just by doing it little by little, it's better. Ready, go. No one else. Wow. Where's your oh, dummy? Camera. You have Me? two people. Are you are people you at home? Dummy. Yeah, I'm at home. The I'm watching the baby. Oh. Yeah, I gotta watch the baby. Julio, three of these people live together in the video. I'm gonna do, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Michelle, the 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 one talking, and the the two together. They're all in the same house. They're they in shut the, brand, the door. They're in the jujitsu house. Dan, they locked me out of the academy. They locked me out of the garage. <laughs> they locked you. I heard that live. <laughs> I really love Enzo Money's dog. Enzo Brent has like a different setup every time. His looks like Ray. Like it's a it's a copy of Ray's setup. Same corner of the room, fireplace in the background. You guys are Zoom brothers. <laughs> 45 more seconds on this. Nah, I'm raising your hand. <laughs> oh, this is new. I have an option to lower your hand. Oh, that's cool. That's new as of today. Can... How do I add a background? I'm gonna work on that. Touch up my appearance. <laughs> Yeah, and importantly for Matt Grant, I have the option of muting somebody. <laughs> Is Matt Grant here? Yes. <laughs> okay, time. Yeah, he's there. You know, Matt helped me get uh, 500, uh, 500 masks. Oh, nice. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay. So, what is the next detail that we're going to add? The next detail is put your head on the floor. That's it. Hand in the collar. Oop, let me adjust my collar, my fake collar. Hand in the collar and lean. Now, put your head on the floor. All of a sudden, all the way over there. Don't take your time about it. Head on the floor. Forehead. Don't put the crown, don't put the top part of your head. Put the forehead, it's a better base. And then, set up your choke. And then do the same thing. So we have our base version. We had add one detail of leaning this way. Now we added another detail forehead on the mat over that way. 
and then get the choke. Ready, go. Yeah. Damn. Oh, hey, Ollie. Oh, oh, hey, Ollie. how you doing? I super love that shirt, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. No, 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 that's not a T-Rex. That's more like a Carcharodontosaurus, actually. That's, it's a dino. Oh, I think it's a Carcharodontosaurus, the African T-Rex. That's what it looks like. It has a more rounded skull than the, than the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is a little bit more alligator-like. <laughs> With the quarantine, he's been wearing a lot of seasonal jammies that he wouldn't otherwise be able to wear. <laughs> well, amazingly enough, you should open up some of those grappling dummies I gave you and see what's in those. <laughs> see what we find? 1980 uh, Christmas shirt. <laughs> That'd be funny. Old baby clothes. Do you think I'm kidding? I'm not. <laughs> I don't know what's in some of yours. Whatever I could find. Yeah, these dummies were not the highest quality. There, there's no doubt. Mine's showing signs of wear, so is Matt's. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah, Hi, Johnny. I know. <laughs> right about the time they're falling apart is when we won't need them anymore, so just be gentle with them. Yes. And do like repairs too, just like do some sewing if it comes undone. All right, let me make sure that we're doing it right. Christina, I'm gonna focus on my white belts. So, so. Okay, noted, duly noted. I'm not even gonna fix you. I can't see Julio at all. Good. Yeah, it's better. Now, why is your wall so lit up, but you are so dark? Me? No, Julio. Is there lights shining on that wall in the background? Yeah. Uh, just the overhead light. The overhead. Can you make yourself brighter with the lighting that you have? Or Julio, change your camera angle. Go to the other side of yeah, the room. Yeah, that's a, another strategy. Who knows how to add a background? Would you be quiet? We're trying to learn <laughs> jujitsu here. Okay, that is, that is slightly improved. All right, go ahead. Let me see. At least I can see the body. Huh. I didn't like that. Okay, time. Let me explain why I didn't like like the Boston crews. Both both Bostoners. How do you do Boston. a Boston accent? Isn't it like a New York Boston. accent? Isn't it because they're from Boston? Is it like slightly Italian? Because there's... No, you whack. Credit card, Harvard Yard. Oh, uh, yes, I know now. Okay, I got it. Ah, you got the ah. Okay, so here's what I what I didn't like about Boston Crew. Um, first, when you put the main thing, let me just get to the main thing so it doesn't lose in it lose the focus in a din of details. Right after you are leaning, you need to put your head on the mat, not right next to it, not right here. You put it out kind of far, and your hand comes over here. Like you go, you're over here. And then all of a sudden, one big whoosh, you go hand out far, head out far. And then set up the choke. Look at all this. You might not be able to see it so clearly, but there's a lot of distance between my head and then him. That's what I didn't like. See, go ahead and practice that. I did layer in half a detail. All right, ready, go, practice. Further, further out with your hand. Boston number two, all the way out there. He's going to try and bridge you that way. His hand stops it. There you go. Michelle's about to go on mute. <laughs> Detention. Detention. What did I do? You're loud. No, portrait mode. Another detention. Oh, I've tried to look up how to add a background. Yes, <laughs> 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 One second. No, if you have put it here, don't want to put it here. Yeah, yeah, of course. 
Look. 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 Okay. Look for the head is away. Okay. Start one for the grave. Up. Down. Second grave from the top here. Let's go for the Get the top in, then post it on. Post it on. Let's go because you got that one. Bring the elbow back to you. It's a four again. Yeah. What was that? It's the number one and number two. Oh, it's the baby feet. Number one and number three. Number three. I'm gonna I'm gonna insert a background and see what happens. Oh, what did happen? Did you change something? Yes, just relax. I'll, I'm here. Yes, relax. I'm here. <clears throat> oh no, El Vincito. He's choking here. <laughs> Oh no, the Vincitos. Oh no, the Vincitos. Is this the Hodger Gracie style? Yeah, for the head, the form. Huh? Oh, for it, the grip, the foot. Stolen Valor. Okay. Time. I muted Michelle. She she got. The... <laughs> oh, sensei, good job. Uh, that's that's her husband that said good job, <laughs> just <laughs> for Julio's reference. <laughs> um, so, let's talk about one principle, and then we'll add one detail. One principle is that. Wh let's start more fundamental first. A big problem about the mount is going to get being bridged over. So you get rolled. That's what bridged over, I fall over, I lose the mount. It's not really so much of a concern when I have two hands. Because two hands is real nice. I can just be like a table here and just base wherever needed. Two hands on one side, one hand on either side. Doesn't matter. But as soon as I put the hand in the collar, now I have to keep the mount with one hand. That's a challenge. It's like... It's just like doing anything one-handed. It's gonna be harder. Well, not anything, a lot of things. Now, when I go for the choke, the problem is, now I have to keep them out with no hands. That's the problem with the cross choke. You have to be able to keep them out with no hands. Because as soon as you go for that second hand, if things are not right, then you get bridged. He has an easy trap and roll escape. So what I just layered in was the technical ability not to get rolled. And now here's that concept that I started with that I kind of went to a more general concept first. Whenever you're giving arms to him, you cannot be centered. That's the idea. You need to be leaning opposite the direction of the trap and roll. So if I were to just put the hand in the collar, it would increase the likelihood that he does a trap of my arm and he rolls me to that same side. I'm, I'm in danger of getting rolled that way. So what did I do? I put my weight over here. That reduces the likelihood of getting rolled that way. It's super hard to roll this way because your hand's over here. Now, the problem is, is that when I go and try and just do a choke like normal, now I'm centered up as I'm trying to make the grip. So I was over here, if I just start to get greedy and go for the choke, I centered my weight, that's when you get trap and roll to the side of whatever arm is trapped. So let's go back. That's why I had you to go do it like this. You're over here and then all of a sudden in one big whoosh, you put your hand in your head. Remember, this side is the vulnerable side for a trap and roll. So by putting our head on the mat and putting our hand on the mat, just committing our whole body over there, we have two posts against the trap and roll. So I'm over here, head, hand. Those are my posts. I do not rush from here. Once I feel stabilized, 
then I can use just my head as my base. So I can get this second hand in place while still having bridge protection with my hand, with my hand, with my head. So that's why I taught you to do it like that. Now, the detail that we're going to add is it's often going to be very difficult to set up that second grip when your forehead is on the mat. His head will be like this and you have to make a grip in there. How do you, how do you open things up? The answer is not very nicely. That's how you open it up. So what I do with my forehead on the mat is I take my hand and touch my knee. Don't pick up your forehead to do that. Don't go like this. Because that's a time where you could be bridged. If I'm here and he bridges, I'm actually helping him. By the time my face smashes into the mat, I'll already be going over. So from here, I just take my hand on the inside without removing. There's nothing special about touching my knee. It just gets everything else ready to go. Now, I drag this arm back. And that, against the side of his head, he's a dummy, he won't do it. If he's crowded, it'll open up that space. Okay, so we'll go from here, all crunched up, and open up. It gives him some nice new cauliflower ear. If you don't like him, use the tip of your elbow. If you like them, use your forearm. Okay, so there you go. So right here, I drag it back. The, the elbow can start the drag if, if you're in competition. If not, just use your forearm to drag it open. My hand will end up like this, like a straight line out from his shoulder. It's from this point with my forehead on the mat that I work the grip in. And then once it's in, once my grip is committed, only then does my head come off and I swing up and do the final thing just like before. So I had from moment one all the way to the end protection against the bridge or some plan. I'm not saying you won't get bridged. You'll get bridged a heck of a lot when you try this. But these are the strategies in place and you'll refine it each step against a bridge because this is a really hard choke. This is a very, very tough one to do. All right, so here's the whole thing. I lean for bridge protection and get my grip. Then all of a sudden, never being centered up with him, real wide with this one, real wide with my forehead. Chill him out. Do no rush. He's going to bridge here. Just let him. Then when he calms down, I touch my knee. I crank open. My forearm goes out like a straight line. I make my grip. Now my grip's set. Now I'm ready to be centered up because now I have the choke. I don't care if I get rolled. Pick him up, choke. Go. Oops. Now you're getting okay. now you're getting some interesting information. I'm not even Damn. done yet. Man, I can't stand these people that are like, oh yeah, hand in here, hand in here, squeeze most basic choke in jujitsu. I can't stand that. Because it gives <laughs> no type of strategy on how to get it in a realistic scenario. It's just what the choke is. Yes. Oh, Michelle's applauding me. I didn't. I've never heard he's ever applauded me. Smash the balls. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Johnny's Smash getting hurt working with a grappling dummy. <laughs> Smash my friends. Um, uh, sensei, you should posture up. We'll just from here. Bring you. What was that? You should posture up like this and bring the elbow, keep the head on the mat and bring the elbow. Are you speaking English? <laughs> Your accent gets thicker over Zoom, Juan. Say it one time. <laughs> well, to finish here, you want to get up and do this, or you want to keep the head on the mat? Um, I usually... It kind of depends how clear the path is. If it's a real crowded path to swing it in front, I could talk about that a little bit. You could do either, as judgment okay. dictates. That's the short answer. Yes. Zoom is super weird. I can see all of you guys like in a row, and then all of a sudden it'll randomly change your place with somebody else. So like I get used. What? Yeah, you put it on a grid view and I'll stop that. 
Say, say that again. Oh, no, I'm on grid view. Oh, great. Then, it's not space on the internet. I'm cool. It hasn't done it in a while. When you mess it up, then it's going to end. It's not going to work. This is really good. The food they have man. This is cool. You know, this here is hard, right? It tries to put the focus on whoever is talking. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing that. Which is quite helpful because I can't, it's not always that easy to tell. Oh, yeah. Hey, sorry, is Oh, say it again. Say it again, uh, Irving. You can say sorry as you're doing it in competition, right? Sorry. That's, that's so you. You <laughs> will do that, and I know because that's your personality. I don't. I don't do this. How many times have I cross joked any of you guys? Like I, like I don't think I've cross joked any one of you. Hair in the face. What? With the chest hair in the face. That's a right. Oh, that that I do. Yeah, that I do all the time. But cross joke. <laughs> That's super mean. Like, I don't even do that. No, I, I, it's very rare. I think it used to be meaner. Yeah, old age, testosterone decreasing, that's what happens. When you were a brown belt, you were a little bit meaner. I was in great shape as a brown belt. Best shape of my life. I, yeah, the most training, six months of two times a day every day with weightlifting, that's, gonna, that's a scary person right there. Taking on Atos heavyweights. Yeah, it didn't work out. But I did beat other people. <laughs> no, actually, Johnny, it was right after that tournament where I made the training that like that. So I never, okay. I never competed at my absolute athletic peak, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that is fucking yeah, man. But I, and the worst part about it is if no coronavirus and, and I was able to maintain no injuries, right about now I would be like entering into that elite territory. Uh, you're with Mark, right, Kevin? Yeah. Okay, I just had a Mark in the waiting room, so that's why I was asking. Okay, time, that'll do. Let's add in another, another layer. I, I think doing it like this also. Wait, let me let me let Viviana finish her rep. That's actually really good, Viviana. Everything's good. So so. Okay. All right, Viviana, Irving. Okay, just making sure you can hear. So I I think doing it like this not only is just better because I don't barf everything out and you like remember 25% of it. You kind of are able to layer it in, but also it makes it more entertaining. It has a sense of like progression, like, hey, I'm learning more, I'm learning more. And that's very important psychologically to always feel like you're progressing. That's why people give out belts and stripes like candy because you're like, hey, look, I have a sense of progression, even though it's not rooted in any objective material way. It's just like, hey, you came on Friday, this is your 20th class, you get a stripe. Like, so, like we still need to maintain this sensation of progression, like when we're practicing techniques. Hang on, Johnny and Juan left and I'm gonna admit them in the room. Um, let me actually do that, even though it's interrupting a good thought. Sense of progression, I'll try and maintain a bookmark. So who's got fun plans this weekend? Hang on, let me finish my talk. Rude. I got order in so, Olive Garden. All right, you guys, quiet. So, um, <laughs> the sense of progression is important because I have basically tricked your minds into practicing something for 50 minutes straight. And if I just said, "Here is everything," now go practice it for 50 minutes, and I'll provide some feedback, it, it would be like, "Oh my gosh, we worked." one move for an hour. But in this way, you don't even think you're moving, working one move for an hour, even though you are. All right, moving on. So, when I'm here, I'm gonna add one detail. The detail is, once I make my grip, no, I'll add two details. 
How do I swing it in front? Pretend like I'm still mounted. I want the blade of my forearm, like the, the sharp stabby part. I want that to really tightly come across his face so there's no space because he's gonna be doing like this stuff and that blade is gonna need to work in between that space. You need something a little bit more pointy. And for the most part, even if you're a little bigger, which none of you are, you still have point. I mean, how much fat do you have on a forearm? Like <laughs> right there, not much, like even, even for big people. So you splice that in and then tightly come across his face. That's another part that's just not so nice. It's really not. But if he gets this hand inside like that, like you need to split that distance with that arm to get it in. Because if it goes over, you're not choking anybody. Maybe, but you're just making it up with, with grip strength, really. And we wanna try and place ourselves in a position where we don't need to do that. Not only is it a maybe, but when we've centered up, we are vulnerable to getting rolled. So if we get rolled and then he's able to then get out, we've lost everything. And we don't want to lose everything. We want to never risk that type of thing. So splice it in like a razor, okay? That's it. <laughs> Practice that for a very short time and I'll layer in another one. Oh, no. Ready? <clears throat> Give me some oh, video, Juan and Johnny. Oh, there's no video? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is Jackson there right now? Uh, he's just not in the, in the room. He's up, yeah, he's upstairs. Yeah. Is he training with you? Are you guys training with Jackson? Yeah, yeah. I, I am. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Help yeah. us. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. But I have coronavirus. So like. What are you gonna do, right? You can't push yourself super. Will super have it? <laughs> um, I'm reasonably sure that I have it, Christina. Oh no! Who say that? Oh um, no! How did you get it from like going to all those hospitals? No, no, no. I, I'm not. I'm not coming within 20 feet of the people at the hospitals. Um, I'm interacting with virtually nobody when I'm doing this. Um, but I got it from my kids. Oh my god. Yeah. From one of your kids or like a kid at My school? kids, my personal kids. When I had the academy open, I was quarantining myself from my family to keep the gym open. And as soon as the gym closed, uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that, was, that was done. How did the kids get it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. From other kids. But... Uh, yeah, I am gonna get an antibody test once it clears out because the antibodies take a little bit to build up. So I'll know for sure. Because I'm just more curious than anything. Yeah. Like people will ask me about what it was like and it'd be kind of cool to say with certainty if I if I indeed had COVID-19, so. Get like a t-shirt or a trophy or something. But I haven't had all the classic symptoms, just just most of them. The key yeah. one that's missing is fever. I haven't had fever. Yeah. Ooh, so maybe I, I don't. Like, but but a, a good minority of cases don't present with fever. And that's <laughs> clinical cases. I suspect there's a lot more that present not with fever. Yeah, that is so... <laughs> okay, time. Let's add more details. We're not going to do crazy bear and bolo stuff today. Oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> so this one's important and it's super easy. What you need to do is you need to be doing this not in the low mount. Right now I'm in the low mount. Let me get a full profile view so you can understand. I'm sitting on his hips. This is often where you are when you first get to the mount. I'm doing this whole choke where I've already advanced my knees under his armpits and my feet, this is the important one, is on his hips. So as I'm doing this whole thing, particularly head on the mat, your feet are going to follow his hips. So wherever they go, if they go up, you follow. If they go down, you follow. You must never let your feet get trapped. I can't do it, not with this dummy. You must never let your feet get trapped underneath his back. 
So just feet on the hips the whole time. And very well defined. Give it like a pinch. Have your heels be slightly sticking up so they can't do some like armpit escapes, armpit backdoor escapes. So that's, all, that's it. Do the whole thing with the feet on the hips. Very important. Once everything is on autopilot, I'm probably focusing most on monitoring my feet on the hips. Those are like my sensors right here. Okay, that's it, go. All right, I'm getting Julio. Yeah. Julio, when you're setting that second hand, I want your the whole time your forearm to be on the mat like this as you're working. Does that make sense? And then the grip goes in, and then you splice it in front. The last detail that we do. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Is that fake one? That was Johnny. That sounded pretty fake. <laughs> that was the show. <laughs> the only day that I was slightly concerned for my health was the day I didn't sleep. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Bad. <laughs> it's kinda like it's kinda like you gave the virus a window, you know, a, a foot in the door to get a little bit more severe. But I just slept for a long time and, and it went back to kind of normal. Yeah, I'm almost done with it, I would imagine. Is it 10 days when it gets to the worst? Yeah, I, I have not followed the latest research because I haven't been doing it. I thought it was more than that, to be honest. Yeah, day 10 is bad. That was about when I did no sleep, too. You think it added before, right? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, time. <laughs> okay, time. So, um, I don't really have a, a actual detail to add into this one, but I do have a concept. So, I need you to be aware of this one idea in the mount. When I'm in low mount or high mount, and I have high posture, you see I'm, I'm postured up, your hips, you're going to be sitting your weight on top of them. When you're in the low mount, you're very well connected to his hips. So if he does a little, little oompa, like poof, you move directly connected with him. Like you're like, whoa, whoa, because you're sitting right on top of his hips. If I move to the high mount, that is reduced by at least, let's make up some number to sound scientific, 40%. <laughs> That's what most people do. So when he moves his hips, I still kind of feel it, but it's, it's a little bit more manageable because you're on his like chest or upper belly. You're not directly on his hips. And when the hips move up, you don't move as much. Now, here's the cool thing, is that when I start to lean forward and put my hand on the mat, by putting my weight forward to a lesser degree, I'm, I am connected with his body. Now watch. I connect even less to his body when I'm here. There is no butt on his chest even. That's why at this phase, your feet are the most critical because he can move around freely. There's nothing stopping him from moving because there's no weight on top of him. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna go crazy. He's gonna like do all this stuff and your feet are gonna stay right there. And your head is enough because you're not connected with him. He can move all that he wants from this position. All I need to do is just keep my feet. And then I set it up. And then only on the final assault do I reconnect with a portion of his body by sitting up. Okay? But I'm even posting, picking him up, and so it's less of a concern. Now, let's add a detail. This will be the last detail. I still have more, but, but whatever, you're out of time is that when you're doing the final assault, imagine he bridges you over. It can be either direction. 
Oh, this dead grappling dummy is so heavy. Now, you still have you still have the choke. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to push him away on the hips, sit up, and then finish from here. So you actually kick him out. Feet are still on the hips, finish. So the more in in your belly button his hand is, the more the easier it's gonna be to do the choke. You'll get a quick tap here. If your grips are even if they're good enough grips to do a submission, you'll get a submission there. And if they aren't, then you don't. Then your grips were more of the problem than anything. Kick the hips, sit up a tiny bit, choke. All right. And then some philosophical concept knowledge to layer on all that. Go. I see Ollie, I see Ollie. Wake up the minutes. We shall sue her for being a fool. I didn't actually like get the choke. You're like, oh, that part hurt. <laughs> So you don't have to, like you were asking the question, now I'm asking that question. You don't have to, sometimes you don't have to come up, right? Mm -hmm. You can just do it with the head on the ground the whole time. Yeah, you already asked. Well, you can solve it. The thing that you show the thing on the hand. Have the space, yeah. No, you can show the thing on the face. It works a lot. Show me the face. It's like the things that are for me. I have to wake up. Do you want a little more? Uh, I'm just checking my messages. Right now, my messages are universally not good. <laughs> Where the heck is Mission Hills? Oh, man, that's far. Holy moly. What? It is really far. But I can do that tomorrow. That is a good one to at least have. What about you? I don't much from that. I don't know what the goal is. It feels bad. Oh, I can picking up. Okay, time. So, thank you guys for today. For the nor I honestly forgot about everything that was uh, going on. And coming back to it online is uh, a nice welcome back to reality. <laughs>
Um, right now, I'm just reading a message. Nurses at ICU are wearing regular surgical masks. They just recycle them. They have to provide their own N95 ma uh, masks. <laughs> wow. So, so. The, these guys are interesting. This unit, while they're recycling that, they have the, I don't know if it's individually said, but the CAPR or CAPR system. Brent, you familiar with this? I'm not. It's a bag over your head with air in it. Hmm. Uh, no, no, it's good. It's a high level oh, oh, of protection. Yeah. It's a high level of protection. Oh, but I they see. only get it with, with the actual COVID-19 patients. But when they're pending results, they are wearing their surgical masks that they're using. Oh. Obviously a couple holes here. Um, yeah. yeah. So anyways... Um, I'm out to take care of those things. Uh, there's not going to be an analysis class tonight. Um, I apologize. Um, we should do, can we do a dummy class tomorrow at 1115? Yeah. Are you guys available? Oh, I know Christina is. She's like hardcore. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm into it. All right. Yeah. So instead of the analysis class, cause I feel like we haven't been seeing each other as much with my last minute cancellation on Wednesday. And then maybe I'll do an analysis after that. Okay. So 11.15. 11.15. This is the normal time that I've been doing the analysis uh, on Saturdays. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. All, right. All right. I'll see you then. Cool. All right. See you guys. See you guys. See you everyone. No. Hello. Hey, what's up? Is hey, Dan, Dan. Um, so do you have that's a pretty bad situation actually, uh, for the ICU. Do you have any of your friends or contacts working right now? I can't hear you. I, 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 let me call her. I don't know if Okay. All right. Here if you can hear me clearly, if she is working, um let me know, and if she isn't, ask if she's willing to go with me to the hospital to get right now the the N95s to the actual nurses. Okay, um, are you close by? Uh... No, I'm not. I'm not close by that hospital at all. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, yeah, I would feel more comfortable if they had N95s for everybody. Um, but I don't know. I can't commit to going there now, but I can. I think go there tomorrow, um, but I will try and go tonight now. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let me let you know. <laughs> 